hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have a come budget with me and it's one that i've been so excited to film because i am finally using my new budget planner for anyone that's new this is for my fmf planner store over on etsy the link's in the description and this will be launched on the 6th of august now this month is a very different month to usual normally when i create these budget videos i feel like i'm repeating myself over and over again but next month wow there's a lot changing so we've got lots happening in august and my spending and savings categories will be changing a lot for this month only so let's get started so because there's a lot going on i'm going to be using my calendar three key things that come to mind the summer holidays my daughter's first birthday and then also the planner launch as well and so firstly what i'm going to do is i'm just going to note down a few basics like the bank holiday weekend and payday i would usually add in my habits as well but I'm mainly going to be using the calendar for, for activities and to find events and note that down. I feel like I've already drilled my habits in now so I don't need to worry about that. So I know that I'll be meeting up with a few family and friends and we'll be having quite a few play dates but they tend to be quite spontaneous so we've already mentioned or we'll be seeing each other in the holidays but it's likely that it'll just happen on the day or we may message the day before um, but for now I'm going to have like a draft week in mind of like you know we go for walks on Mondays we go to for a day out on a Wednesday and it doesn't have to be like that it's just it gives me a bit of structure and something to work towards Ever, So let's start creating the budget. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to note down my income date and when it's due. I don't share my full budget online but I do like to share how I create my budget. The next thing I do is I'm going to list all my bills. So my bills are exactly the same thing this month. However, there is one big change and that is my contract. I have finally left my old SIM only deal. So no more unexpected bills and bills higher than planned. A new plan that is more than enough data and it's with a completely different company as well. So I'm really excited for that. Now I'll just be paying £6 a month. So what I'll do on payday, I'm going to move a chunk of money into my bills account and right now I'm going to note down when all the bills are due, more time they're due on payday but the few that aren't I'm going to highlight so that I know that they come out on different dates and I need to look out for them. Next I'm going to move on to the savings, so I always like to do that as soon as I have sorted my bills. Um, it's the first month this year where I don't actually plan on saving that much, I'm just going to be saving the bare minimum and that's because there's just so much going on this month. So I'm being realistic, I've got my daughter's birthday and it's a school holidays and we are going to need a bit of money to cover this. My sinking funds will help but they will be completely wiped. So right now because it's a bit messy and I'm I'm going to be shuffling money around but I've got a note and I'm going to note down the difference from my usual savings each month and I'm going to store this on the note so I'm going to just draft up some figures because this month I won't be saving anything towards birthdays it will be used towards my daughter's birthday and holidays so next spending so right now I'm going to hang by with my impulse treats budget my son and daughter's budget and then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my son's budget a new name under school holidays and then my daughter's budget a new name for birthday so I'm going to give it a purpose for this month because I know exactly what it's there for so I'm just going to carry on and just finish the rest of my budget uh, where I know the definite amount so the miscellaneous will be £20 and then I'm going to come back to this so from next month because my daughter turns one I'll no longer be buying formula which will be quite a bit of money saved um, and so I'm going to note this down as additional money towards the holidays and birthday. Next, I'm also mindful about the school uniform. My son's got quite a majority of his uniform, but he does need a couple of bits. So he needs a polo shirt and actually he needs shoes as well. For clothing, I wasn't going to get myself anything, but actually I do need some socks. So I'm going to get myself some socks next month. 
and then for household i did start no noting this down i realized that actually i don't need anything in my household budget the money that i would usually spend i'm just noting this down and adding it to my notes so that i've got a running total of the, the money that's now available so this money that's now available will be used towards the summer holiday and my daughter's birthday but my next question is how much do i need to delegate towards each of these events so first i'm going to sum this all up before i delegate the amounts then i'm going to use my calendar to see how many weeks that, that that the school holidays fund will need to cover and then i'm going to draft what a typical week may look like as i mentioned earlier um, i'm going to probably run a couple of events and that day we might do something like just quickly pass by a park we'll have another day where we go for a walk we'll have a couple of days where we'll do activities at home like in the garden or like crafts and stuff at home and then we'll have a day where we, where we do spend a bit of money like soft play. Also, because there's no school run, I feel like I'll have a little bit more time. I'm going to try and dedicate one day a week towards getting a room sorted in some holidays. And that is decluttering and deep cleaning. I'm forever doing this, but, you know, I like to be organised and I like to be on top of things. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here? So next I'm just going to add the summaries in and uh, something new on the budget sheet is the debt total which I love so that's brilliant it's nice to see that there and yeah coming going back to the school holidays um, and also the birthday I've decided to have a £20 a week budget for the holidays and then also £45 for a day out for my daughter on her birthday so we'll have that money to spend on the actual day for doing something nice. Um, I will, and I'll use the sinking funds for her presents. I won't have an impulse budget this month. I may just include that in the £20 a week school holiday budget. Um, but to be honest, I might just bring drinks with me. And then next, I'm going to just add in the weekly spending amounts, which will be incredibly useful this month. So that £100 will then be split to £20 a week. So I need to remember each week that I'm working with a £20 a week budget. And then also a £10 a week top up for my groceries as I like to do my grocery shop monthly. Play. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, I'm looking with you everything was complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just loving.